what triggers your automation? Let's have a look on the options that we have in Egoi. We have these triggers here and we are going to learn how to use them and how to set them up. Subscription. This will trigger when you get a new subscriber into your list. You can limit it to a specific sign up form and you will select it here. You can choose to trigger it for contacts that you import and you can apply it to some segments only. You will find this option in all of the triggers that you have available. So you can trigger a workflow to all the lists or just to some segments. There's another option that you can use to force in some way some contacts to enter your automation. For that, we need to go to a list, okay? So I have this list opened here and I can apply an action for the whole list or just for some subscribers. So imagine that I want these subscribers to get into my workflow. I'm going to click actions and then I have the option to enable the Autobot or exit the Autobot. This is a manual operation. Okay, so click Enable Autobot or Exit if you want. Then you need to select the automation and which action do you want they to start the workflow. Subscription Edit. It triggers your workflow anytime a contact change any subscription information. And it can be, for example, an information that they have in an extra field. Campaign Open. The sequence is activated anytime a contact open an email, smart SMS, push or any of those campaigns that you have sent. Click through. This one triggers your workflow when a contact clicks through a link in a campaign. So it can be an email or push campaign. You can apply it to all the campaigns that you have sent or just to some of them. And here you are going to copy the link, which can be equals to or just a part of it. Reply. This one triggers your automation when a contact replies to an email that you sent. Again, you can apply it to any campaign or one that you select here. And bear in mind that you need to have an option activated to have this trigger working well. We can find that option in the setup of our email campaign. So let's have a look. We are at the setup stage and here I have the option of storing replies in Egoi and I need to activate it to have this trigger working well. Referral. Triggers when a contact refers your campaign to someone. Conversion. Imagine that a group of people receive a referral. If they subscribe from that campaign, they would be a conversion and then this trigger would be activated. Unsubscribe. This one is self-explanatory. It triggers when someone just opts out from your list. Date. This one activates in a specific date that you defined here. It can be just on, before or after the date that you select here. You will find these two by default, but if you have any other extra field with date information, you will see it here and you will can select it. Okay, then you are going to define an hour and you can be very, very specific. We can choose the full date we can select day and month and then it will work in an annual basis or you can select just the day for monthly cents. Condition. This one will verify daily, weekly or monthly if you have new contacts in these segments. It will do it at the time that we define here and if you have new contacts in those segments it will be triggered. Track and engage. This one will trigger when the contact achieves a goal that you select here. This is an egoist feature 
to track your contacts and then know their behaviors so that you can send very, very specific communications to them. Just bear in mind that we need to enable and set up our tracking engage before using this trigger. And that's it. We are done with the triggers and remember to check the extra resources for this class.